Initially, I was thinking after having been diagnosed and then I had my operation on for brain surgery on February 14th, uh, that I wasn't going to do any, quote, legacy project. And then the event happened. And on February 14th, uh, there was the shooting at Parkland School in Florida. And my initial reaction when I heard the news was, here we go again, another shooting in the United States, just like Sandy Hook, just like Columbine. And frankly, I did what many people did. I reacted with certainly despair and emotion, but also nothing's gonna change. But then it happened. And what happened was the young people said, we're not gonna follow the script that's been followed before. They pulled back the curtains on the politicians, on the adults and said, we demand change and we are going to be the ones that change things. The story of young people, you know, saying to uh, decision makers and others, we're not going to fall into this abyss of despair. We are together going to do something to make things better. And that really lifted me up. Hope as, uh, uh, as, as just a word without substance is just that, it's just a word. But with substance and action, it is entirely empowering and gives people um, a different take on their own lives and the world around them. The best natural resource our country has or the world has that hasn't been harnessed, and that is the natural resource of the unleashed power of young people and the idealism they have. With all of the issues we face today, we need young people with idealism to help solve the problems of the future. You know, we were all young people at one time, and I think we can all relate to the idea of idealism. And if we just had someone who was there to support us, I'm really tired of uh, this notion that one person, one guy has all the answers. I don't think it ever worked. Usually it goes very badly. Um, so having, you know, people working together, that's turned out to work pretty good. That's what families are about. And so I think, you know, if young people working together, collective leadership and unleashing their power and their idealism, if some of that is able to take off with uh, Youth Action Now, that'd be terrific.